Um, one of the real alarming things, um, but you see it over and over again uh, for years now, from the left, from the kind of Marxist left, is their attitude towards work. So I've, I've been getting these questions, right, from students, from young kids. And the question basically boils down to, why should I work? I don't want to work. I want to pursue my hobbies. I want to have fun. I don't want to work. And it's like, what? <laughs> you know? it's, so, it's so weird. Now, where does that come from? It comes from Marx's vision of a utopia. So in the Marxist utopia, you don't have to work. In the Marxist utopia, all the material needs that we have, and needs here for Marx would include the iPhone, would include everything you need to be to be to live successfully, quote, right? Is just provided because partially because capitalism has been so successful, right? Marx would say, right? But uh, capitalism has been successful in producing the stuff, then the proletarian take it all over. They automate it. It's all robots now. So this is the utopia. It's all robots. So all this stuff we need is being produced. It doesn't require human thinking, human effort. And, you know, unless you want to go into that field, and then it's fine. And then everybody gets to do what they want. So in a Marxist utopia, you don't, it's not like, um, uh, you know, uh, nobody does anything. What you do is you pursue your hobbies. Like everybody has a hobby and everybody pursues their passion and everybody's happy and floating around and you know, it's just, it's just wonderful. And the stuff you need just appears. It's like manna from heaven, it just drops and it arrives. And if you want to be a work, if you want to go and, and, and build stuff with your hands, you can do that. If you want to start a business, you can do that. You just can't have employees. At, you know, to each according for his ability, from each according to his means, but you can do the activity, right, theoretically. Um, and it, it, the one thing Marx never explains is how we get from where we are today to that utopia. Like the, the uh, dictatorship of the proletarian, that part he skips over, right? He describes it, says, this is what has to happen, and then he goes to the utopia part. And so they take the utopia part as, well, of course, we don't want to work, we don't want to have a job, we don't want to have to produce stuff, the world is rich enough for stuff just to be provided to us. And it's like no sense that production requires effort, production requires a mind, production requires thought, production requires, you know, people to actually go to work. Work in the broader sense. And that they, they want to just skip to this utopia without having to do anything. And it's... I. I don't remember 10 years ago people having that attitude. This seems like a new, like the left is, has adopted this new tactic of promising young people the utopia tomorrow. Like Marx, you had to go through a revolution. It was a whole process, right? And ultimately, over a long time, which he never explained, you get to this. But they want it now, right now, tomorrow. I remember a few years ago at the University of Texas, this kid came to the microphone and said, why should I work? There's enough wealth in the world just to provide me for the living. And it's like, why should I provide you with a living? Because I don't want to work. It's my right. And it's, it's one of the most bizarre of all the kind of qu questions, attitudes that I find out there. Because it just goes against what we know about reality. Everything we know. It's, it's, it's kind of a metaphysical issue, right? For human beings to survive, we have to shape our environment. To shape our environment, we have to work. That work requires effort, requires thinking, requires changing the stuff out there. And some people don't get that. I think most people do. I don't think it's, a, I don't think it's hugely popular, but there's a significant, the ones that are vocal, the ones that are passionate about their Marxism, that's where they are. They're at that level of, you know, whim worshiping. I don't want to work. I actually do want to work. And that's why part, part of my answer was, no, you should find something you love doing and go do it. You know, work is not a burden. Work should be fun, exciting, thrilling. You should get up in the morning excited about going to work. It's sad that you're not. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Me.
meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.